Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. I just want to tell you guys, I built a clone, or I built a clone, as you can see there. This is a kit that I got from stompboxparts.com. It is a effectively clone of the Klon Centaur pedal uh, from the 1990s. And if you know what the Klon is, then you're like, oh, okay, and that even makes sense because of the color and everything. If not, I'm gonna give you a really brief history on it, uh, and I'm going to play the time-lapse video of me building it while I give you that history. So the story of the Klon begins in Boston in the late 1980s. There's this man named Bill Finnegan. He's a guitar player trying to hone his guitar sound like every guitar player is, and he has a twin reverb amp, and he realizes that when he gets up around seven or eight, he gets this magical sound of those tubes, you know, getting really hot, and that is part of his guitar tone. So he practices, he gets good, he gets in a couple bands, they go to start playing their first gigs, and most of the clubs are telling him to turn his amp down to like three or four, and then his tone is gone. So he's like, I gotta get that sound. So he tries the Boss Overdrives, the Tube Screamers, the things that are on the market at the time, nothing does what he wants it to do. So he enlists a couple of MIT graduates, uh, keep mind he's in Boston, to help him build a circuit that would do just that. After a couple prototypes and whatnot, they eventually settle on what becomes the Klon circuit. It's perfect, it's exactly what he wanted. He starts playing with it. Guitarists in the area start asking him, hey, can you make one of those for me? Cause I really like that too. So he actually starts producing Klons in his apartment. Over the next about 15 years, he builds between seven, 8,000 pedals in his apartment. All of them are built on the same card table and all of them are built, tested, everything by him. Now, he's pretty protective of this circuit since he put some money into it and there's nothing else like it on the market. So to protect the circuit, he takes epoxy and pours it over all the components. And so you can't see the components that are inside of it. And so the con becomes this sort of black magic thing. People are willing to pay three, four hundred dollars, even more than that for these clones. This is in the 1990s. Eventually through things like ultrasound and different chemicals that can dissolve the epoxy, people eventually figure out the circuit and they post it online. And shortly after the circuit gets posted online, Bill quits selling them. Then comes the age of the Klon clone, uh, which this is one, but there are many others on the market as well. Now, if you're interested in more of the Klon, just do a search. There's lots and lots and lots of videos out there dedicated to the Klon. There's videos where people can, you know, compare original Klons that are currently selling for four, five, six thousand dollars on eBay. They'll compare those to like a forty dollar Klon clone off of Amazon, and a lot of times, you know, they can't tell the difference. I'll let you watch those and decide if you like one better or not. But the point is, there's a whole lot of Klon circuits out there. This is one. I built it. Here it is. I'm pretty proud of the way it came out. And uh, let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. Okay, folks, so here we go. Here is our clean tone. Okay, let's go ahead and punch the clon in. I've got all the knobs pretty much in the middle. And we should hear an overdrive sound. somewhere in the neighborhood of a Tomb Screamer or something. But one of the cool things about the Klon is it has this treble control. So if we turn this all the way down, we get a really dark sound. We turn it all the way up, we get a little gritty, bright sound. And of course, anywhere in between that you're looking for. So one of the things about the Klon, if you turn the gain all the way down, it still works. Some pedals don't make any noise when you turn the gain all the way down. But this one does. And not only that, that's actually a preferred setting of a lot of players. A lot of players will turn the gain all the way down, turn up here to taste, turn the treble to taste, and they'll use it like a clean boost. You know, something like that. But then you can go the opposite way with it too. And again, a lot of folks love the con turning all the way up because as we start to come up here on this game pot we'll hear that clipping being introduced and as we get up higher it really gets that tubey growl and of course if you add the treble like a 
sound that's just crying out for some power chords, huh? So here's all the way up and all the way up. And uh, I'll turn the volume down just a little. Let's see what this sounds like. It's a really aggressive tone. We can, of course, back that off, make it a lot darker. We don't like that. Oh, actually, I actually kind of like that. That's, uh, oh, here we go. copyright uh, hit on that one <laughs> i don't normally play covers when i do these demos but that just seemed like the right thing to do with this pedal so the thing with the claw there aren't necessarily any bad settings in it it's just like an overdrive pedal what overdrive do you want and it's just basically every setting is going to be a different type of overdrive so right now let's see here let's kind of we'll dial the gain back a little i don't know let's see what this sound sounds like i don't really like that okay Let's play with that one. There you go. See, <laughs> it's just your universal overdrive pedal. Real quick, back to the clean tone. Suddenly really boring, right? Anyway, that's the clone. So there you have it, folks. Hopefully you liked my clone. And you can see I put the Centaur sticker on here because the pedal was called the Centaur. And some of the originals were gold. Some of them were silver. Some of them had the little man and horse on it. Some of them did not. But it's certainly become iconic with the pedal. Have that gold enclosure and the uh, Centaur there. So kind of giving it an homage to the original. But there you go. If you like what I do on this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and there's a playlist in the description with more videos like this.